Good evening, everyone. Do you recognize this familiar new hotspot? The Land Chick-fil-A now sits on is owned by one of the biggest apartment owners in western New York. Robert Morgan also owns the Morgan Ellicott Departments, Rain Tree Apartments, and Paradise Land. But tonight, he's a property owner in hot water, facing dozens of charges linked to money laundering, mortgage fraud, and more. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Eileen Buckley takes us to federal court. Mr. Morgan, do you have any comments on anything for Buffalo? Rochester-based developer Robert Morgan had no comment as he left Buffalo's federal courthouse today. Morgan pleaded not guilty at his arraignment to federal charges accusing him and three other men, including his son, of a half-billion-dollar mortgage fraud scheme. U.S. Attorney James Kennedy announced the 114-count superseding indictment. It names Morgan, Frank Giacobbe, owner of Aurora Capital Advisories in Buffalo, his son Todd Morgan, and Michael Tremetti with conspiracy to commit wire and bank fraud and money laundering. All four of these individuals have been variously charged with one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and bank fraud, which relates to their mortgage fraud scheme, 81 substantive counts of wire fraud, which again relate to that mortgage fraud scheme, 15 substantive counts of bank fraud relating to that mortgage fraud scheme, and one count of money laundering conspiracy. Morgan is CEO of Morgan Management. Morgan and his son are also charged with conspiracy to defraud insurance companies. The charges accuse him of providing false information to a number of mortgage and insurance companies in order to receive loans on properties that the government says were over appraised. Morgan operates about 3,500 apartments in the Buffalo area. That includes some on William Street and East Amherst in Buffalo and the Rain Tree and Paradise Apartments in Tonawanda. But Kennedy says nothing is happening to tenants at those properties at this time. I encourage the tenants to continue to monitor the situation, but as, as far as day-to-day -day operations, uh, I don't believe that there will be any impact at this point. Morgan's company owns about 36,000 properties in 14 states. He was released on a $100,000 bond. Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.